Curators. Good afternoon, YouTube. This is J5276, and after an extended break of nearly six months, uh, we're back with another episode of The Curators of Hardcore, which, if you uh, aren't familiar, is where I go through some of my more rarer records and talk about them a bit, talk about the history and talk about how much they're worth and things like that. So, uh, as, as you may see, um, we're in the mid-late 90s. Um, after the first wave of Dutch hardcore, Gabba, um, things got a bit cheesy. Um, somewhere along the line, uh, the likes of DJ Paul, uh, Charlie Low Noise, Mental Theo, people like that, heard UK Happy Hardcore. Indeed, G uh, DJ Paul wanted to sign um, uh, a Crew LT, uh, Jimmy J and Crew LT record by the name of uh, Six Days to one of the Rotterdam related labels um, that deal fell through with uh, Lunacy um, of Night Force Records and eventually um, I think DJ Paul and Co just took the same sample and created um, Going Crazy by Rave Nation both good tunes in their own right and also one of DJ Paul's bigger Happy Hardcore tunes um, Life is Like a Dance which is on the B side to Play My Game uh, is based on an old DJ Dougal tune. So I, I remember buying uh, Play My Game and listening to this and thinking, uh-oh, it's all going a bit happy. And sure enough, he brought out um, Rainbow in the Sky and all those other things on uh, Rotterdam Records because for some reason he wanted suddenly wanted to be a pop star. And as did uh, Cholo Lono's and Mental Theo, they did uh, Wonderful Days and all those records. They appeared on Dutch TV, gooning about on some kids' Saturday morning show and things like that. So there was a lot of that around. They called it Happy Gabba, Happy Rave. Um, and it had influences of Euro House. And more often than not, there was a couple of these sort of one of these cheesy tracks on it. And then there was some harder mixes. Uh, you've only got to go as far as... the. the track that was hit in the UK, uh, Technohead, I Want to Be a Hippie, the one that they played on Top of the Pops, and the one you heard on the radio was the uh, Flamin and Abraxas radio mix, and there was, it wasn't the original mix, the original mix, the I Want to Be a Hippie samples a much smaller part of the tune, and it was a lot less happy, but uh, that's, that's it, every, every, all these what, who had previously been Gabba artists suddenly decided they wanted to be happy hardcore pop stars. So, um, IDNT for it is they um, wanted in on this and um, they started a, a sort of happy rave label uh, in 96 by the by the name of um, Pengo Records um, they had this story that the little clockwork penguin on it um, oh I've got to say on this coast one year ago thousands of penguins came to Holland to buy a new kind of ice cream which was very popular at that time after the ice cream was sold, all the penguins returned to Antarctica except for one little fluffy one called Pengo. So, yeah, this is, this is the territory we're in here. But, uh, but you know, Pengo is a fairly well-respected label. It's There's some good stuff. I mean, you've only got to go as far as uh, drop it by three steps ahead, which I also own. Um, uh, a few things like that. There's stuff by The Prophet and Delirium, DJ Weirdo and DJ Sim, where it's it, they, they're usually quite cheesy, but they're sort of well-constructed stuff um, and we're on the real sort of cheesy pop Euro dance end of things uh, by um, Mind Trust here who after I found out is uh, an alias of Martin Boone who is quite a long-serving uh, Gabba artist from the first wave um, I know him best as Scarface he did a load of stuff on, on Burr Records Burr, 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 I don't know it's B-R-R -R. Ah, records, um, uh, brrr, records. I don't know, but he he did a great load of tunes there. Um, Chucky's Revenge, Speedy Gonzalez, Blow Your Head Off. Um, hear it, hear it twice is a good tune as well. He he he's got a sort of whole load of um, aliases, sort of uh, quite a lot of very workaday Gabba stuff on. Um, Hard Stuff Records, he was the babysitter. 
less said about that particular record, the better. You'll see what I mean if you check this, Cogs. Um, the Reverend Jackson, who's on Rave, a speed loader. Uh, there's a couple of good speed loader tunes on Burr. Um, the Undertaker took a couple of EPs on Rave Records. Um, various other things. So suddenly decided he wants to be a ha- be a happy hardcore artist. So he he teamed up with one Lillian Van Sonsbeek, who is one of those vocalists that sort of pops up on dance singles every now and again. She also does the um, vocals on uh, Fortune Fairy Tales tunes, uh, Ding a Dong, Take Me to Wonderland again, more happy hardcore type stuff, and she. Looking through a Discogs profile, she pops up now and again on trance tunes and house tunes. So she's one of those kind of session vocalist types that do the rounds. So um, this the sort of original version of the the tune. Well, I'll, I'll put links of all four mixes that are on this particular EP on um, on the description. The original mix is tucked away on the B2, um, and that's sort of fairly sort of, you know, like wonderful, the original mix of Wonderful Days by Charlie and Lord of Noise and Metal Theo, the sort of that, you know, Eurodance friendly beat that's revved up. Uh, personally, I don't bother with that. I know people who are into their happy hardcore type stuff do like that, and it is, well, better put together than most of the vocals. Yeah. It's Eurodance. It's Dutch Eurodance, so the the English is always a bit ropey, and the singers, yeah, it, it, it's a bit like DJ Paul stuff in a sense. But um, the other three mixes are good, solid Gabba stuff. Um, based in Big King Matthew, who are a bit hit and miss at the best of times, pers- personally think. Their mix is decent. Um, the Scarface tune, sorry, the Scarface remix is a Scarface tune that breaks down to the, the vocal somewhere in the middle and then carries on like nothing had happened, which is often the case with these um, harder remixes of vocal tunes. And there's a, a Daryl's Choice remix by uh, DJ Jordens, DJ Jordens, who um, you'll know as Kit Williams um, and the rapist, and the visitor. He's done a load of stuff on uh, Point 44, um, under various, uh, yeah, he's a Dutch, Dutch a lot. I think a few people thought he was American, but he's he, he was explosive. He did stuff. Uh, he, Industrial Strength Europe was one one he brought stuff out, but he's he's uh, still making stuff as far as I can tell. But uh, yeah, there's three good solid uh, Gabba mixes on there if you can play play them out and you still get away with uh, I think you still get away with vocals on there but uh, yeah it, it, it's like like uh, Drop It by um, Three Steps Ahead and a couple of other things on Pengo they they, they in terms of sound they've, they haven't aged well but they you know they still if you're playing them in an old school Gabba set or something like that it, they don't sound too out of place but uh, I've always had a problem with vo- vocals especially these sort of the Eurodancy female vocals and these things it it, it it just doesn't work for me but if if you like the, the cheesier end of stuff then um, that's fine and I'd say if you like that sort of thing you should definitely check out pretty much everything on Bengo um, if you just go through their uh, thing now the, the Critical Mass Burning Love that's a big tune I uh, mean, some of... Uh, Big Boys Don't Cry, of course, by The Prophet. That's Pengo 3. Critical Mass is Pengo 11. Uh, Three Steps Ahead, Drop It, is 12. My Little Fantasy, Fortune Fairy Tales, is 14. Uh, Take Me to Wonderland, by Fortune Fairy Tales, 18. This is Pengo 20, as you can see from the sticker. And in Clo- Stu Allen's Clock makes an appearance on there, on number 22. So... Uh, the... You know, there's a there's a a decent mix of sort of sort of traditional Gabba artists and then some of the more cheesier end of stuff. But it's it, it's a good solid label. I mean, um, it's very collectible. Um, there are few, very few EPs on this label that are sort of selling for pennies on Discogs. But um, in terms of value, I'm looking at Discogs now, and this has sold. The average is thirty quid. 
um, the highest it's ever sold for is £49. Uh, that was a near mint copy uh, back in 2010. Oh, pardon me. Um, most recently it sold for about £30. Um, all the copies in question seem to have been in euros, so I think it's one of those things that changes hands within Europe and isn't so well known in the UK. I don't think Pengo was a particularly played out label. It, it kind of falls between two stools, really. It, it's not really the happy hardcore sound you get in the UK, your Hicksy, your Sharky, and it's not quite the kind of stuff that Clarky or producer would have played at the time. I could see someone like Brisk playing it. Um, I, I don't know whether he did, but it was, you know, it was it was a bit your the the main mix the original mix was a bit too sort of Euro poppy, too sort of Euro trash that kind of thing. So he, he I don't know how much the uh, other mixes got played out. So it, it, Bengo was on those labels that you had to be quite in the know to know about. But yeah, changing hands for for thirty quid a piece for a even for a a VG Plus co copy, the average price is about 30 quid. Um, my copy, if I remember rightly, was in a job lot of sort of, you know, dwarf baby boom type stuff. And uh, Happy Hardcore I got from a guy local. He had it on eBay. I won it. I went to collect it. And this wasn't listed. Um, and uh, this sort of was like worth more than most of what I'd, I'd picked up put together. So I was quite chuffed with that. I uh, thought of um, as I say, the three GABA mixes are, are decent enough, so in the collection it goes. Um, at time of writing, there is actually no copies of this for sale. As I said, the last copy to sell was back in August. Uh, the numbers on Discogs, again at time of recording, uh, 79 have this, 105 want this. So rule of thumb, if you've got if something's been on Discogs for a while and the want list is higher than the have list, uh, especially by that much, then it, it is, I think, quite difficult to get hold of. Um, just look at the overall trend in the price history. It seems to have remained stable around the 30, 30 GBP mark. So I don't think you're going to track that down on eBay UK. I'm sure it turns up a bit more often on the Euro European uh, eBay. I don't tend to buy from Europe as a rule, I mean, my whole thing is buying job lots and buying things, and then sort of picking, cherry picking the best bit and selling the rest. But uh, this is one one to keep an eye out for if you like. It's sort of the middle ground between UK Happy Hardcore and Dutch Gabba. Um, so there you go. Uh, I'm planning to get uh, the COH videos back on the road. I've got a queue of five or six records, tapes, and CDs that I want to um, talk about. Um, hopefully I can get more, you know, one of these at least every week or so, every couple of weeks, I don't know. Uh, I do, sorry, sorry for the extended break in these videos, it's various distractions and just um, not getting around to it. I had this Mind Trust record ready, I've had um, my notes ready for this for some while, I just never got around to it. But I'll, I'll try and get my shit together and uh, sort, sort out some more videos in this. So... Um, I hope this has been enjoyable. All the all the relevant links to artist pages, uh, YouTube uh, clips of the songs, and all that will be in the description. So if you can like, subscribe, uh, share the thing on Facebook or Twitter, whatever, I'd be most grateful. So uh, any any suggestions uh, for things to do? I'll also put my a link to my collection, Discord collection. You can pick something out that you think might be a good one. To do for a video that's all great okay this has been j5276 this has been episode six of the curators of hardcore i'll see you next time <laughs>